Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Viral. In this how-to, I'll discuss new features within Enterprise Performance Management version 11.1.2.2 related to airspace, smart view, and financial reporting. Oracle Enterprise Performance Management EPM or Hyperion Application Suite provides the following four major EPM application areas. These can be accessed to the EPM workspace. These include strategy management for strategic finance and long-term forecasting, business planning for detailed forecasting and budgeting analysis, profitability management, and financial reporting and compliance. This session is part of a series describing the technical and functional updates in EPM version 11.1.2.2 release. Microsoft Windows installer, MSI client installers are now provided for the following Oracle install clients such as ESBase client, Oracle SBase Administration Services Console, Oracle SBase Studio Console, and Oracle Hyperion Financial Management Client. This is a warm welcome addition. It was possible to get some of the installers in 11.1.2.1 patch, but it looks like all the clients are finally available as standalone installers. Since the desktop clients such as the Financial Reporting Studio, SBase Studio, all require users to have administrative access, Deploying them in some organizations had traditionally been difficult. IT had to create the MSIs that would deploy to users automatically through push-out programs. Oracle now has been nice enough to give us these MSIs, thus saving IT a lot of time. Below you see a screenshot of all the MSI client installers. You now have Package Oracle Process Manager with Hyperion SBase. This way, we don't have to install Oracle HTTP server on the SBase server anymore. Three new rapid deployment documents provide step-by-step -step instructions for building a typical Oracle Hyperion planning, financial management, or SBase development environment on a single server running Microsoft Windows. Other SBase features include uniform naming convention, UNC pods, are now supported to specify network shared pods for SBase running on Windows. There are also enhancements related to block storage. There is optimization of distinct count calculations on aggregate storage databases. There are new features providing the ability to change SBase server and application log levels in, in SBase Administration Services Console. Along with the SBase configuration file, there is now a new distinct way to reference shared members in MDX and new MDX functions and grammar have been added. This release of SmartView supports the 64-bit version of Microsoft Office 2010. SmartView now contains the latest patch that levels the playing field between SmartView and the SBS Excel add-in. In addition, it will connect to Strategic Finance module. We are really seeing SmartView being the desktop delivery strategy for EPM. SmartView will also connect directly to products instead of being routed through the SmartView provider. As such, there are a few new web containers introduced in Hyperion Strategic Finance, Hyperion Financial Management, and Financial Close Management. SmartView now supports two new extensions that will display their own ribbons in Excel. These are the Oracle IP and Strategic Finance and Predictive Planning, both of which will work along with Oracle IP and Planning. Below you see a screenshot of the SmartView ribbon in Excel 2010. Now there are two additional options for reporting and analysis during installation. 
though these are not new in terms of configuration but all that happened is the options have been expanded to allow to configure framework services and financial reporting RMI ports separately which means configure database is required if you're configuring framework services a new print engine is available the Oracle Hypean financial reporting print server is now part of the financial reporting web application you no longer have to install a print server as part of the financial reporting studio installation now there is support for IP and financial management with extended dimensionality and financial reporting. Now that HFM supports at least 12 dimensions, the financial reporting studio has been optimized for performance to support faster processing times. Regarding IP and planning, it now provides the ability to print multiple user notes and multiple documents to a cell in financial reporting studio. For lifecycle management, you can now use lifecycle management to migrate Oracle IP and financial reporting artifacts such as the annotations, user point of view and bad jobs. Using interactive reporting, files can now be exported from Microsoft Excel 2007 using the .xlsx file format. These are some of the new features introduced in version 11.1.2.2 related to SPACE, SmartView, and financial reporting. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.